There's been some peculiar activity in Chicago. Last night, one of Al Capone's hitmen, Jack the Knife Campelli, hit a speakeasy in East Chicago. Big deal. The mob hits somebody every night these days. Ah, but the thing is, we got a report from Elliot Ness's office two months ago that Campelli was killed in a shootout. Ah, clerical error. Between the feds and the Chicago cops, I'm sure names and faces get mixed up all the time. We don't think so. We have a new informant in Chicago, Vincenzo Gasparo. He goes by the name Icepick. He's been telling us the same thing. Icepick saw a man who died two weeks ago gunning down members of a rival family last night. You're saying the Mafia is employing the undead now? That's ridiculous. Maybe not. We've learned that a German scientist named Henrik Lothring immigrated to the United States three years ago. According to our intelligence, he spent the last 20 years developing technology to raise the dead. Like Frankenstein. You're joking. I'm quite serious. If the Mafia has found a way to recycle their dead, even those who've been ripped to shreds, then it's our job to deal with it. Frankenstein. Frankenstein was fiction, stranger. This is reality. Our own scientists are on the brink of similar technology. If we relied solely on modern medicine, half our operatives would be dead, yourself included. We can revive a person who, by all known science, is dead, but even we can't do what Lothring is doing. If Capone's scientist has found a way to revive a man from virtually any degree of death, we're all in serious trouble. Mm-hmm. His undead army of evil will walk over the face of the earth. This is serious business, stranger. What happens when the cops' bullets are useless against criminals? What happens when this savage abuse of nature spreads beyond Chicago? If you say so. Icepick has infiltrated Capone's gang. He'll meet you at Pier 59 in Chicago. Icepick claimed to be on the verge of discovering exactly what Capone is up to, but we've lost contact with him. General Biggs, do come in. I'm not too early, am I? You said to meet here at 0900 hours. No, no, you're right on time as usual. Stranger, this is General Biggs. He will be acting as our liaison to the United States Army, so he will be popping in from time to time. Our relationship is mainly information sharing. However, if the need arises, he's the man who can get us an armed regiment to aid us. I thought the whole point of Spook House was to keep our information closely guarded. The General's men are fiercely loyal to him, and if they ever assist us, they will deny it to their deaths. Our secrets will not be compromised. We're all fighting for the same cause. General Biggs, I would like you to meet our top operative. General Biggs, the stranger. The stranger? <laughs> you aren't hiding something that we should know, are you, soldier? Nothing that need concern you. Huh. Well, Colonel and I go way back, so if he says something, I'd take his word for it. He tells me you're the best there is. It's a pleasure meeting a man that works so hard to protect our country. Nice to meet you as well. Not to cut this short, but the General is pressed for time, and he and I need to discuss some issues, so we'll bring this meeting to a close. Watch your back, stranger.
What brings you in here? You usually avoid me like the plague. I don't understand you, stranger. And right now I don't have the time to try and figure you out. I have a mission to think about. You're disrupting my concentration. Doc Holliday is gone. I'd better leave Holliday's things alone. I'd better leave Holliday's things alone. It's a dark place. You must be Ice Pick. Uh, yeah, but that ain't the password. Don't start with me. Spook House sent me. Leave it at that. Okay, now we got that squared away. What should I call you? Stranger. Uh, I've heard weirder names. Hey, I thought we was Jake. You're one of them. Them who? One of those reanimated monsters. Yeah, I was dead. That crazy German brought me back to life. You got a problem with that? Yeah. I make it a habit to kill monsters, not help them. Hey, first off, I might look hideous, but I'm trying to stop this from happening to anyone else. I didn't ask for this. And second, you got it the wrong way around. I'm not asking for help. You need my help. And you didn't think you should maybe mention your condition to the Colonel? You guys are monster hunters. I figured no one would get sent if you knew a monster made the report. There's some freaky shit going down here, and I have information that can help you stop it. Take it or leave it. What have you got for me? There's a speakeasy down the block called the Vendome. He's behind the pet shop. Use his pass to get in. I was supposed to meet a newspaper reporter there, but I don't exactly fit in, do I? I told him I'd send someone else in my place. He's suspecting you right now. Go to the bar and order a Manhattan. My reporter friend will find you. Capone's ordered patrols throughout the area, so stay low as you walk around here. 
Stick to the alleys wherever you can.